Alright guys, I'm back in Karina Speed Drifters again with another dazzling treasure car that you skip <laughs> review. Okay, I believe this is a dazzling treasure car. Uh, Ever Night Kiss Dark Lord. Characteristic each time when you enter drift, there's a 70% chance that the mini boots max will be plus 7 km within 7 seconds and the power of the mini boots will be 6 percent plus six percent so every drift you get a chance that mini boost increase and mini boost power increase so this is uh yeah from this preview it's a uh, dazzling treasure uh i don't remember was it just called dark lord or something i don't remember what what was the theme but i remember it was that kind of background <laughs> okay so this car is from that dazzling treasure i believe uh, I think this Dazzling Treasure is not here anymore if I'm not mistaken. Another car from Dazzling Treasures that you don't really need to get because there's only permanent and and it's not really worth getting, okay? But here's the review, alright? So modding for this car is middle, left, left and left. Let's test this out. And I'm sure you can already tell this is not my main account. Normal speed is 204.3 Activated already Double boost 254.4 Okay, so normal speed doesn't affect CW with ability 316.3 Okay, it lasts even when the characteristic is over So let's see if I don't activate it 312.8 without characteristic eh? WCW with characteristic 296.3 Without is 294.2 I think There's a very high chance of activating eh? See <coughs> WC Ah uh, cannot and uh, still activate. Okay, WCW with ability 321.4. <laughs> when can I not activate this? WCW 315.1, I think, without characteristic. I believe that's what it's the speed. <coughs> so, this is quite fast. Eh? Most of the Dazzling Treasure cars are fast, faster than the speed pass ones. We'll begin with City 11 and then two rank games. Eh? So I'm guessing, yeah, I'm battling the Fallen Paradise run, eh? the previous Dazzling Treasure car. Already a good start. I'll say the turning isn't strong. But not bad. <coughs> I forgot to double break. I guess it's the yeah the minibus uh, power. That's why it make it makes it uh, better, a better run than Fallen Paradise.
Because I remember Fallen Paradise is uh, fast also, but the power is not strong enough. I remember I seeing that. So you can compare with this. Uh, this one has stronger power. So you can feel the difference. Okay. Not bad. So let's start with rank. Hmm, maybe I'll do 3 just to get this advancement to Nova instead of 2. So maybe we'll play 4 games today. We'll see. I'm feeling a little bit better, not fully better. I still have the <laughs> kind of sore throat, but lesser than yesterday. Oh yeah, by the time I upload this, I think this video will be like 4 or 5 days later than what it is. Because, uh, yeah, by the time I'm recording this, I'm only uploading the S Phantom Star video. Not even one of the dancing treasure cars that I'm reviewing yet. <laughs> so yeah, this might uh, upload like in a week time maybe. There's so many videos pending. Up. Oh sh. Hey. What is going on? Well, a few mistakes there on well, first game. Second game, Moonville. I keep forgetting that Bunny has the Celestial Deer pet, eh? the more expensive pet. I always forget that he has that. I could have just used that. <laughs> I think he has this as well. Since he got all in now. Um ah uh. um, I did not continue What is going on? I can come back from this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two. No! Oh, wow. 
Okay, looks like I lost the advancement. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, sorry to disappoint, but three games lah since I lost the advancement. No point uh, doing another one. So I guess I'll finish the advancement on another review, <laughs> the next review. So yeah, let's compare this with Fallen Paradise, the previous one. Eh? So this car is lesser and tank compared to Fallen Paradise. By speed, I guess they are the same. They are fast, both are fast. Both characteristic cars. Drifting, they look kinda the same. Continuous, also kinda the same. The power, yeah, Evernight Kiss Dark Lord has better power than Fallen Paradise. That's why uh, it feels fast. The boost itself uh, can go further. And the turning, kinda the same. So, yeah, there's downsides and upsides here. And tank is the weakness for this car. Compared to Fallen Paradise, but Fallen Paradise, the power is lesser than Evernight Kiss Dark Lord. So from the first game, lah, from the first game, you can compare actually the CT11 that uh, yeah, this car is better uh, power compared to Fallen Paradise. But <laughs> from just the two rank games, I say it's still meh lah. Almost the same with speed pass level cars lah. I guess slightly still faster than speed pass cars, but still that level, okay? Still around that level. Again, okay, another dazzling treasure car that I would not recommend getting. It's okay to skip. It is already skipped, but if it comes back, you don't really have to get the car. Unless you get it early, then yeah. It's about the it's about a speed pass level. So yeah, another dazzling treasure review. Evernight Kiss Dark Lord. That's it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.